guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. For today's video, we are going to be whipping up an awesome, simple keto one pan skillet recipe. You're definitely going to enjoy this one. It has minimal ingredients, it is full of flavor, and so quick and easy for those busy days. So let's go ahead and jump right into this recipe. All right, guys, before we jump into cooking our skillet, we're just gonna go ahead and prep a couple veggies. It just makes it so much more simpler and faster if you do prep your head veggies ahead of time. So first thing we're gonna go in with, I have one orange bell pepper. I did rinse it, and you're just gonna go ahead and dice it up. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out all the seeds. And then I do have my chopper. This thing just makes life so much more easier. I always use this if I wanna dice everything. I'll go ahead and link it below for y'all. All right, see how easy that was? Okay, we have our diced orange bell pepper. Just like that. I like to go in with orange, but you can use whatever you like. I prefer with this recipe to either use yellow or orange, whatever you have on hand. We're gonna go ahead and put this in a bowl to the side. Okay, leave out your chopper or whatever you're using because we're gonna go ahead and dice up one small onion. And I love to use this chopper for my onion because I'm not sitting here crying while I'm dicing up onion. I just do it super quick. You gotta put a little muscle in it sometimes. There you go, and we have our diced onion and we're not standing here crying the whole time. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side. Okay, next we're gonna go in with some cabbage. So this is a large cabbage. I haven't rinsed it yet. We're gonna rinse it here after we chopped it. But this is a large cabbage. You do not need a big one. Just go in with a small head of cabbage. So I'm just gonna be doing half of this. But this was all my store had. They were all super big. I was like, okay, we're gonna have some extra cabbage. So we're just gonna go ahead and chop this up. Okay, I'm gonna set half to the side. Cut off the ends. And then I like to just take out this white part right here. So what I do is I kind of just like angle it, I cut it, and I'll go this way. I don't know, this is just how I learned to do it, how I taught myself the easiest way. You see that? It just popped right out because I do not like this part. And then all you're going to do is simply rough chop your cabbage into bite-sized pieces, just like this. Usually I like to do strips. And then we're gonna give this a really good rinse. And then we'll move on to cooking our skillet. Just prep your veggies ahead of time and it makes it so much more easier. If there is any like hard white pieces like this, I kind of just put those to the side because they tend to be a little bitter. Okay, my chopping isn't perfect. I kind of just rough chopped it, but let me go ahead and rinse this and bring out your skillet and we'll move on to cooking. All right guys, you wanna make sure your skillet is heated through nice and hot. First thing we're gonna drop in is two tablespoons of some olive oil or any oil of your choice that is low carb keto approved. Usually I use olive oil or some avocado oil. Now we're gonna go ahead and drop in our one orange diced bell pepper. As well as our chopped onion that we just went ahead and chopped up. We're just gonna let this saute for about two minutes just to get a little tender. And then we'll add in some ground beef. Make sure you go ahead and give your bell peppers a nice stir. You can already tell they're getting nice and translucent. Just these bell peppers and onions alone smell so good. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and go in with our meat. So we have one pound of ground beef. I like to go in with this little tool. It gets the meat nice and broken apart because I don't like big chunks of ground beef. So I just make sure it gets nice and broken down. And then all you're gonna do is go ahead and cook your meat through and then we'll add in some spices. Okay, once your ground beef is cooked through, I did drain the excess grease. Make sure you do drain your grease. You don't want it oily. So we got everything nice and tender. Our meat is cooked through. Let's go ahead and season. So we're gonna go in with some salt to taste. I kind of season with my heart, guys. This is just the way I do season. I'm pretty sure everybody else does. But I'll put the approximate um, seasoning uh, measurements in the description below. Sorry, everything is always in the description below. All the ingredients and all the measurements. We're gonna go in with some black pepper to taste. 
and then onion powder. You could change up your seasonings if you like. This is just what I like to use. We're going in with about a tablespoon of onion powder. Some smoked paprika. It's going to give it that smoky flavor. It's going to take it up a notch. So good. Or if you have regular paprika, that'll do as well. I put about a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And then we're going to go in with some garlic powder. Because I use this stuff on everything. <laughs> garlic powder. And then just some oregano. A little bit of oregano. And those are all my spices I'm going in with. We're going to go ahead and give this a good mix. Mmm, the oregano smells so good in here. I love the way oregano smells. Okay, next ingredient, you're going in with one can of diced fire roasted tomatoes with the juice. Oh, it smells so good already. Okay, make sure you leave the juice in there because that's going to help cook down the cabbage when we add it here in a bit. I'm just going to let this simmer for about a minute and then we'll add in our cabbage. Okay, once we got it nice and simmered, last ingredient going in, guys, is our cabbage. So I like to add this in in sections because cabbage, you know, it's kind of bulky once it's not cooked through. So we're going to add in a little bit of at a time. Give it a good mix. You might need to add a little bit more spices or like some salt to taste with the cabbage. But we'll try it at the end and see if we need to adjust anything. This is probably one of the best skillet recipes. I absolutely love making this and it's so quick and easy. You can even add some cauliflower rice as a side if you would want a little bit more of a filler. But this right here alone fills me right up, but I think it would be paired great as well with some cauliflower rice. Okay, so we got all our cabbage in here. We're gonna let this get nice and tender. So if you need to, lower your heat just a little bit so nothing burns. But we're gonna go ahead and cover this with the lid and let the cabbage get tender. Make sure you do check it about every two minutes or so and give it a nice stir. It's only been about five minutes and you can tell my cabbage is getting tender. I'm just gonna cook it a little bit more through. At this point, I am going to add just a little bit more salt to taste. And remember, you could add any other seasoning that you like. And then just a little bit more pepper. I like some extra pepper with my cabbage. I don't know why, it's just so good. And I'm gonna give it about another three minutes and then we were gonna, we're gonna top it off with some cheese. Literally the best part. Who doesn't wanna add cheese to this skillet? It just makes it the best all the time. All right guys, after about 10 minutes of everything simmering, my cabbage is nice and tender. It smells absolutely delicious and it was so simple to make guys. Don't y'all just love one skillet meals? Everything just one skillet, super quick and easy. Just throw everything together. It just makes days so much more simpler, especially if you're a mom just like me. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn off our heat because it's already done cooking and now we're just gonna top it off with the best part, cheese. I love me some cheese. So today I am going in with a mild cheddar and Monterey Jack blend cheese. This isn't the blend of cheese that you wanna use. Go ahead and add in any kind of cheese that you like. We're gonna go ahead and put it right on top. You're gonna go in with about a cup of shredded cheese. And that's it guys, we're just gonna go ahead and let this melt. I just put my lid back on here and we'll serve it right up. Oh my God, you guys, would you look at this one mil skillet. Look how cheesy it is. Look how delicious that looks. I cannot wait to dig right in. All right, I got my bow, let's dig right in. Mm. Oh, it's so good. So simple but so good guys i know y'all are going to love this if y'all happen to make it head on over to my facebook page post some pictures you and your family will definitely enjoy this and one pen you cannot beat that it is just so delicious for those crazy days when you don't have enough time to cook dinner you could whip this up in no time so i hope y'all enjoy this awesome recipe don't forget to hit that thumbs up button guys subscribe to my channel for more awesome keto recipes and i'll see you on the next one